Okay, we're going to talk about the basic differences between permutations and combinations. So, an introduction. Okay, permutations. So, this would be NPR. Um, when you have a permutation of something, you do not have to... Um, um, you have to worry about the, the order, okay, the arrangement uh, possibilities. So some examples of permutations would be um, the locker combinations, because you have three numbers, but the order of those num numbers matters, or seating arrangements. So for instance, if you have to sit in a specific order at the table. Combinations, um, now order does not matter. So for instance, a lotto, where you have to just pick six numbers, you have to have the right six numbers, but it doesn't matter which order you pick them in or a, a committee, if you just need a committee of three people and it doesn't matter who those, the order of those people, or a poker hand, you just need the five cards and it doesn't matter what order they appear in. Okay, so let's look at um, an example. Okay, let's say that there's five books and you're going to come home with two. Okay, so, um, combination would be five, choose two. Okay, so think about the combinations um, of books you could come home with. Let's call the books one, two, three, four, five. Okay, those are the, the names of the books. One, two, three, four, five. So if you came home, you could come home with one, two, one, and three, one, four, one, five. Or you could have came home with two and three together, two and four, or two and five. Or you could have came home with three and four together, or three and five, or four and five. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's 10 different combinations you could come home with. Okay, what if I asked you um, about how many ways you could have checked them out at the library? So think about the order of them going across and getting beeped, scanned. So how could they possibly been scanned out? So here you could have gone with one, two, and then one, three, one, four, one, five, right? And then you could have done two, one, two, three, two, four, two, five. You could have picked three first, and then one, three, two, three, four, three, five. Or you could have picked Four one four two four three four five, or you could have gone with five one five two five three five four. Okay, so here there's twenty ways you could have scanned them at the checkout. Okay, so as you can see, when order doesn't matter versus order or <coughs> mattering, then you are eliminating like the combination of one two and two one okay because in the combination you're still coming home with one and two two and one you're still coming home with the same right so that's eliminating that part of the overlap okay so when we look at the formulas so npr and that formula is Okay, so when we do that, we get 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial, which is 5 factorial over 3 factorial. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. And those cancel, and you get 20. When we looked at the formula for n choose r, 
you get n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial, okay? Because you need to cancel out the repeats, okay? So that's where that's coming from in the formula. So we have 5 factorial over 3 factorial, 2 factorial. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. So we get 20 over 2, which is 10.